Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video, I will show you how to make a Fibonacci sequence calculator in Scratch in very few blocks, and it's very easy to follow along, so let's get started. So first, go ahead and make a list. Call it Sequence. And this is what will display the series of numbers. I then make a block, custom block, call it Calculate. on without screen refresh so it happens really fast then click ok so now when green flag clicked delete all of sequence and that will prepare it to get ready and then you're going to want to add one twice to it because you know the Fibonacci sequence starts off one then one then two then three and so on so on and so if you don't know what the Fibonacci sequence is it's really just it starts off with one and the one and then each no next number is calculated by adding the previous two numbers together. So it starts off 1 and 1, so the next number will be 2, then 3, and so on. And then, it will be forever calculate. But, since there's a list limit, I think it's like 200,000 or 20,000, it will not keep going on forever. But then, under define calculate, add to sequence, plus because you're going to be adding the two most recent numbers. So, item length of sequence, which will be the last number, plus item length of sequence minus one, which will then be the second to last number. And so that's just a clever way of going around having to write all of them. So yeah, and that's really it. So, I mean, now if I run it, you'll see that it goes on for, it looks like, yeah, until 200,000. So, at a certain point, Scratch, it gets too big, so it has to go to the to powers. So, it's not really a decimal, it's just so big that it has to put it as a number. So, it could scroll down for a while, tons. Fine. It goes to infinity. Yeah. Because Scratch cannot compute that big of a number. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Be sure to actually comment any requests you have for tutorials, and I will make sure to do them. And comment any ideas you have, and thank you for watching.